Yeah. Thanks for coming out to practice and uh, you know, excited to have you guys here. Talk about um, sort of what your team gains from winning a game on the road at UCLA in terms of confidence and just getting a sense of what they're doing in practice every day is actually working. Yeah, well, I would say we've been working really hard for a long time now, several weeks and even months on improving the defense. And I think that our guys really have bought into that and they've taken ownership on that. And really the first half was a very good defensive half. And, and the game was one of our better, if not the best, from a defensive efficiency standpoint. And so from a hard work, you always want to see hard work transfer to the games. So from that standpoint, you know, it, it, was, it was gratifying for the players to see that hard work pay off in terms of a defensive effort. Um, winning on the road is never easy. UCLA has a great team. Look, they have young players. That they're figuring things out. It was still, it's still a game that could have gone either way. But I was proud of our guys for making some uh, late game plays to help get us to win. How much you've seen in practice that you expect to be carryover from what you had on, on that game? I, I expect and I hope for a lot of carryover because our guys were poised. We still had 13 turnovers. You know, our, our target goal is seven to 10 turnovers a game. So we still had a few too many turnovers, some of them preventable. We watch them all as a group. Uh, but the main thing is there's improvement, there's growth, and, and the guys are bought in. I mean, th these guys are working hard in practice. They're doing extra film. They're doing extra on work for it. And, and it shows, it shows. For guys who work so hard, it's kind of baffling to see some of the careless turnovers that happen late in the game. Is it largely from me? Well, I mean, that, that's a fair point. I mean, that's a fair point. We've, we've had a number of different rotations this year, you know, and so guys have been called upon, some, some to play heavy minutes. And, you know, I think some might be fatigued. Some are probably turnovers why as a head coach can help our guys uh, schematically, drill work, to maybe shave off two or three of those. And, and we've been repping that and working that. And when it's all said and done, hey, basketball is a game of great success and, and, and mistakes as well. And so. There's gonna be some turnovers probably every game. I've seen very few games with zero turnovers. Our job is to minimize those. So, can you talk about team defensive concepts a little bit? Uh, a couple times in the field of the game, there's been a slight two way in some of those switches and slides. Or, um, up to a man, it looks good, but some of the team defensive concepts. No, we, we had a couple bad switches at USC. We gave up some threes, um, so, so that definitely happened. Um, you know, we came over on the double team against Collier on the post. You know, schematically, we're supposed to have high hands, so he can't get a pass through. He did a great job of getting the pass through. We gave up two threes on that. And so, you know, sometimes you work the scheme, you work it, you rep it, you, you know, schematically it works, and then a great player makes a great play. And, and that's kind of what happened with some of those. What about Rodney Brown's uh, growth, and you got some productive time from him the other day. Yeah, you, you know, Rodney is, a, is such an interesting and great player because he came in this summer, and he immediately w was pushing guys. Uh, pushing in practice, pushing for minutes, you know, pushing to be the best version of himself. Um, ha had a little injury or two maybe over the summer and, you know, maybe hit a little bit of that freshman wall just over the summer with, with the amount of information. But he has just hit his stride and, and he's showing what he really showed us a lot of the summer, the ability to shoot the ball. He started to see in the UCLA game his ability to pass the ball and play make. He has the size and the stature to see over defenses. He had a great assist to Fardos early in the second half. And it really just makes everybody better. He, he's long, he, you know, I don't know if he's 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, but he's long with long arms. And so that can help defensively and rebound wise. His demeanor on the floor, he looks like for a freshman, plays with a lot of confidence, self-assuredness. Yeah, Rodney Brown never gets rattled. Rodney is someone who, who's very poised. Uh, he has great composure. But again, there's always that transition going from high school basketball to college. And even in the earliest parts of the transition, for example, in that uh, tournament down, down in uh, South Orange County, he had great moments. I mean, you look at the San Diego State game, he really helped us get back into that game and have a chance to win it. Um, inbounds has been an issue, especially late in the game. Yeah. Is there a thought of having one primary inbounder rather than rotating guys through to get consistency there? Yeah, I, I think we had I think we had one key turnover late in the UCLA game. Obviously, ASU got us, but but here's the truth: ASU is getting everybody. <laughs> everybody knows it's coming against ASU. They, they've got Frankie Collins, who is probably. A lot of people would say he's the best in the country at getting steals. But even with that, we're continuing to tighten that up also. That's definitely been an issue. Um, you know, it cost us the game against everyone. You know, it was, it was a long, hard few days after that because we looked at all our prep. We knew it was coming. 
I, we did the prep and, and, and it wasn't enough. And so that tells me I have to do more as a coach to better prepare a team. You talk a little bit about Jalen Tyson. He obviously has a lot of talent. He's done some really good things all year, but the, the four straight 20 point plus games hasn't happened in 11 years around here. And that consistency that he's starting to develop, how big is that for the team? J Jalen Tyson is someone who his teammates love playing because Jalen not only is a great scorer, but he's going to look to make his team. I mean, you look at the shot that Cohen made, the three point shot at UCLA that kind of stretched the lead a little bit late, that kind of gave us some more of a decisive cushion. That was an on-time, on-target pass from Jalen Tyson and Jalen Cohen. Jalen Tyson's a phenomenal passer. Um, he's not one of these guys that's just all about me first, I want to score. I mean, he, he takes equal joy between scoring and passing. Um, and so it's, the fact that he's found that balance has been really, really good. Can you talk about Devin Curtis's progression? Now that the yes. been burnt a little bit, he's going to be two more minutes each game. Yeah. Can you see that going on? Really proud of Devin Curtis. Um, Devin Curtis came into the game. I showed the clip yesterday. I mean, he gets a strip steal on Bona. Bona's basically an all-conference caliber player. And I, and I said, Devin Curtis, your defense get better, gets better every day. Here, you strip an all-conference caliber player, and then at the other end, I think a few plays uh, later or maybe earlier, he catches a drop-off, goes up, pump fakes, draws a foul, and gets to the free throw line. And so, Devin Curtis, he has grown. He has a great voice. Um, he has a great outside shot. He hasn't shown that yet, but he will. Is there a chance that um, Askew will be down for the year? You know, um, just today we, we got some new information. Devin Askew has a minor foot injury. However, that minor foot injury is going to require probably six to eight weeks of rehabilitation. And so, you know, in meeting with Devin, Devin's met with his family, we've met with the medical people. Devin Askew is going to shoot to redshirt this year and regain, regain the eligibility. And we support him 100%. Devin has been phenomenal. He's been an unbelievable uh, part of this team, and it, we're, we're heartbroken that he had this setback. And do you feel like Rodney's progression um, will suit him to be able to take those minutes at this point? I, I think Rodney has continued to grow into just a strong role on this team. You know, Rodney Brown is not afraid of a big moment. He's never afraid to take a big shot. He, he has a confidence that, that's unique and special for a freshman. And, uh, for Rodney Brown, the sky's the limit. Has his range been a pleasant surprise, or has he shown that a lot in practice? The range from three? Yeah. I mean, he, he actually started showing us that in, in the middle of the summertime. And it was so much so that we immediately moved him to the first game. You know, I, I think there may have been a little stretch there for just a couple of weeks where there was so much information thrown at Rodney. You know, maybe I kind of got ahead of myself moving him to the first game. You know, we had our top six or seven guys, and, and he was part of that. Um, and so then I, I decided I wanted to get him more reps on the second team, just just from a learning perspective. But the, the range you're seeing on his outside shooting, he had that over the summer. He's always in the gym. He has a great work ethic. Um, he's up the three-point contest. That was a little rough. <laughs> you, you need to ask Rodney about the three-point contest. You ask him about that. That, that. that was kind of a, a little, it caught us all off guard, but uh, it's all good. Tell us about uh, what you know about Colorado. Well, we've watched a lot of film on Colorado. Obviously, they have a ton of different weapons. They have guys coming back from injury. Um, De Silva, we, we know because I, I played against him last year. Um, and so, you know, they've got talent at every position. Um, expect Cody Williams back? We're expecting him back. You know, we're expecting him back, but you never know until the, the tip off. They're hoping for him back. Yeah, I, that's what we've heard from media reports. And so, they're going to have a lot of their guys back. I, I know this, you know, they're coming off a couple of a few tough losses, and so they're going to be hungry. We're hungry. It's going to be a great game. We tended your defense uh, a few times the last several games to go to a three-point soft trap a little bit. Hopefully we're going to see more of the You know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, in terms of our defense, we're a big-time half-court man-to-man team. That, that's our focus. You know, there have been times when we've sprinkled other things in, but, but we are a big-time half-court man-to-man defense team. That's what we've been focusing on, and that will continue to be our focus. All right, Coach, thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys.